the perfect figure of candidate number 22, Maria Luisa Jimenez. Finish the bounce total look. Candidate number 30, Maria Victoria Sulit. Candidate number 31, Maria Lourdes Enrique. She stands out in this white strapless gown in silk crepe. To complete this look created by Gam Gomez, white gloves and emerald accessories adorn candidate number 31, Maria Lourdes Enrique. Ano, ha? But I guess wala naman sa pakomplikaduhan ng gown niya. It's how you carry the gown. It is so simple, but the way she carried herself, ayos na ayos. Ladies and gentlemen, kung mapapansin niyo, even here in our long gown competition, we have a very good crop this year. And more than anyone else, we would like to thank, we would like to thank the executive committee of this year's Binibining Filipinas, who made sure that any one of the 37 will be beautiful to present to you and to the world. Again, may we call on, uh, may we have seven. executive committee. Let's give her a big hand. Big hand. To this pageant this year. And so, we have our best in long gown. Unlike other fantastic, I believe 10,000 pesos in a year's supply. Pearl ears. Number 37. Candidate number. Number 19. Geraldine Ackie. Sun Silk Beauty. Sun Shampoo plus conditioner with the finest range of conditioning shampoos to give the perfect touch to every hairstyle and specially chosen ingredients and sophisticated formulations to bring out the best in every type of hair. Presenting the award, Mr. Dark and Miss Beth Panganiba. Had how many awards? Hello. Best in long gown also. Mr. Dar, for the marketing director, accompanied by Miss Beth Panganiba. Every award is being done by Mr. Dar, accompanied by the individual product managers. Okay. And now we come to the award for the Miss Close-Up Smile. This goes to the girl with the most attractive set of teeth and a winning, confident, close-up smile. The award goes to candidate number Ariel. Number 31, Lourdes Enrique. Come baby, come on, I want you here, cause you Mr. Dark, this time with Charles Lynn. The unique toothpaste with fluoride, more mouthwash, more flavors, plus super whiteners, packed with all the confidence you'll ever need to meet the world up close. Close up for fresher breath and shiny white teeth. Thank you. 
Finally, we come to the woman who epitomizes the luxe ideal of the beautiful Filipina with a soft, smooth, and flawless complexion, making her stand out above the rest. This is the Lux Lady. Candidate number... Number 22, Maria Luisa Jimenez. Lux, your personal skin care soap for soft, smooth complexions with three variants to choose from. White Lux for normal to dry skin, Peach Lux and Pink Lux for delicate skin. All from Lux, your kind of soap for your kind of skin. Joey Mangaha, assisted by Mr. Dart, here giving the award. Joy Mangaha, Mr. Dart. Congratulations, ladies. And now let's go back to Dan for tonight. Seven official candidates for the Bini Bini Filipinas 1987. Girls. In the bathing suit by Triumph. This may be your last chance to see your favorite candidates. So take a nice hard look at them. Because in a very short while, we are going to select 15 from the 37. We will be announcing the numbers at random. So any one of you has an equal chance of making it in the magic circle, all right? Good luck. Mabilis ho yung computer. Center Greenbelt in Fairmart with branches at Manila, Makati, Escolta, and Cebu. Classic shoes. Yan yung mga, in case you're wondering what shoes to wear with bathing suit. Official shoes for tonight's pageant. One. Our first finalist. Number 36. My favorite waistline, 23. The voting age, 21. Twenty-four. Number twenty-eight. Number four. Number 17. Number 31. Number 19. Number eight. Number ten. Number twenty. Smile, girls, we have two more. Two more. The first one. 
of the two, the last two to join the Magic 15 is number 37. And number 15 is number 22. What do you think of our 15? Well, Francis, you've just seen it. Dave, so I'll... How do you think young people like you could contribute to the achievement of world peace? I'll repeat. How do you think young people like you could contribute to the achievement of world peace. Kaya ako ni-repeat, mahirap pagalugin. Papano sa palagay mo ang isang babaeng bata na katulad mo makakatulong sa pagpapaunlad ng kamundong kapayapaan? <sighs> hirap ng interview portion. I could say first, helping one another, peace, um, reconciliation, like, let's say in school, the school leaders can do something about it. And then, mm, sharing each one's thoughts, like putting up seminars, talks, and making a good example to the younger people. Thank you. Very good. Being a good example, because you Sabi nga nila, you are a property of the public. Kahit anong gawin ninyo ay naging example. You can show a good example. Very good. Paano kasi kapag yung mga may kinakasal ngayon eh, ang mga kumbidado nagbibilang eh. Sa mga kinasal na January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Six lang eh, six lang eh. Okay, number 21. Kinumbida na kayo sa kasal, pinakain na kayo at lahat. Magbibilang pa kayo ng buwan. Ayun. What is your notion of success? Ano sa palagay mo ang tagumpay? Success for me is one knowing that one has achieved whatever one has to do to his fullest capability. That is success. Magagaling ang mga bata this year, ha? Okay. Hindi pa na tayo sa kabila. Please. Your question. How do you think young people like you... Ah, I'm sorry. This is the same question, could achieve world peace. I asked this already, so... Dapat na ibulsa ko na ito. Ah! Ayan! As part of Binibining Filipinas Charities, if you were to choose between being assigned to an orphanage or for the home for the aged, which would you select and why? Bilang bahagi ng Binibining Pilipinas Charities, kung ikaw ay papipiliin kung saan mo gustong maglingkod sa isang bahay ampunan o doon sa home for the aged o doon sa bahay ng mga matatanda, saan mo pipiliin at bakit? I wouldn't choose any one of them. I would believe that both of them are in need and that Anywhere I would be put, I would give my heart to it because it is not so much where we are, but what we do about where we are. Thank you. Number four. Thank you. Would you consider going out with a married man? Wala nang translation niyan sa Tagalog. 
Well, of course not. But I'll refuse him nicely and stress to him that I still hold on to my values. I still hold on to my values like not going out with Mary.